everyone and welcome to part 32 of The Sims 2 Pleasant Family. Angela just got back from class and she decided to start playing catch with Heather over here. But I did notice that she has a want to ask someone to pledge to the Greek house. So I was thinking we could ask one of the Allisons to come over and ask them to join the sorority because, you know, she did... She did want to continue that friendship, and I did think it'd be a really neat idea to have one of them, possibly both of them, join the sorority. So I think we'll invite the one that she is the closest to over, which is Allison Lewis. So we'll do that when she's done with this game of catch. Like, she's not really that close to Allison or Allison Raha. Like, they're barely friends, so I think she's definitely the better one to invite over. And, ooh, you really need to go to the bathroom. Are you sleep? How... You know, I think you need to go to the bathroom a little more than you need to sleep. So how about you take care of that need first? All right, go over there. Use that. What are we doing? Eating a slice of pizza? Yeah, there is just pizza appearing all over the place here. Yeah, I was looking up stuff about the Greek houses in this game. And apparently there's a new interaction they could do. I think it's automatic. Yeah, I don't think you can really tell them to do it. But there's something they'll do where they'll just go to campus and whenever they do that they'll leave the lot and then they'll just come back with pizza and that's great because we just get a bunch of free pizza appearing all over the place so she is just here chowing down on this pizza that's been out for who knows how many hours there's probably some flies buzzing around it but it's fine but she needs to go to the bathroom too so will i ever do that after she is done eating the Ugh. one of the things that annoys me about this game is if they do something autonomously and then you click to have something like if you click to cue something after that they'll just drop what they're doing and do the thing that you just you, you just cued for them uh because i didn't actually want her to stop eating her pizza so you just go back in there and finish that after you're done although fine you know we'll get you a fresh slice let's not eat that it's probably got bits of carpet all over it okay so when she's done with that we'll ever oh look it's the cow Oh, and there's another thing of pizza. Sweet. She does also want to go on a date, so maybe we'll make that happen later on. She also wants to throw another toga party, but we just did that in the last part, so I don't think we need to do that again. But we'll just go ahead and cue inviting someone over so we can get Allison over here to pledge, because I don't think I've ever really done this before. Uh, what does this say? This Sims Greek house will never become the raging party magnet it needs to be unless it can attract more members. To get more members, click on another sim and choose Ask to Pledge. Okay, so I don't know if it's just they ask to join, that's it, or if there's some kind of hazing involved. It's probably just asking them to join, and that's just kind of a bit. But we could... Oh, look at that! The cow and the llama happily blowing bubbles together. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, how can you... <laughs> it's, it's not quite working so well through that uniform. <laughs> just kind of showed it on in there. All right, looks like they're having a good time. At least he's not activating sprinklers and other annoying stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and invite Allison Lewis on over. Maybe we can have her go on a date with him. I don't know, but I kind of want to find someone new for her to go on a date with. Okay, invite over. Allison just got here, so after we're done greeting her, we'll see if we can ask her to pledge. Oh, look at that. They're so cute. Oh, they're such good friends. Okay, let's... Uh, da, da, da. It's going to be over here and ask. Oh, ask to pledge. There we go. She is on that now, so let's see what she says. Oh, yeah, she looks flattered, like she wants to join. Is that it? Congratulations, Allison has decided to join the Greek house as a pledge. During the pledge period, you can influence them to do whatever you like, free of influence costs. After the pledge period is over, they'll become a full member of this Greek house and can move in if you want. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, so, they're, so they do kind of have a little bit of hazing, which I know is kind of mean, but that's so cool. Yeah, I, was, I, I figure there's something like that since we have this whole influencing system. So what can we influence her to do? We can play prank on, fight with, appreciate, entertain, flirt with. Write my term paper. That might be a good one to do. Serve meal. Clean. Yes, clean. Clean up all of those cups for us. I mean, I feel kind of bad doing that because they actually are really good friends. But, you know, it's, it's a part of joining the sorority. Aw, she's making her bed. How sweet. So I was just thinking perhaps what we could have them do in the evening is go on a sorority slash fraternity outing to a nightclub or something like that because her wants to go on a date went away so i was thinking maybe we could throw another toga party after all but i yeah let's do something other than that so i think it might be kind of fun to have them all just go out somewhere together i'll probably have to have someone else set up the group like heather who knows more of the people in the sorority and someone did let me know in the comments of the last part that the other missing sorority member or 
One of the other fraternity members that was missing was Ashley Pitts. And then there's also Martin Rubin's brother is the one in the sorority. It's not Martin Rubin, but neither of them know his brother or Ashley. But she at least does know both Kevin and Castor. So we made a do with her. Angela doesn't know Kevin. I thought I had her introduce herself to him, but apparently I didn't. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll have to do that or like have Tiffany do it because she's not on bad terms with Castor. But yeah, I just thought that'd be something kind of fun. Oh, wait, she, okay, she knows Joshua. All right, yeah, so we can have her set up the group. It's a little later in the evening and wait, what are they? Hold on a minute. Were they just gossiping about Angela's parents breaking up? I was just trying to talk about how Allison is cleaning up all these stuff. And then, yeah, I just saw these two over there gossiping about what Angela told them. So that is really interesting that they are passing on gossip that they heard from other people. Like, I think she was telling Brittany about her parents. And then Brittany was just telling Tiffany about her parents. So, ooh, that is interesting. Um... So I've also set up the group for the sorority fraternity and Allison is the group is in the group as well. So I thought it'd be interesting to bring her out so that they could continue to influence her while they're out and about. So we're going to have Angela get on that. So we'll invite, uh, yeah, meet group at community lot for an outing. I decided to have everyone go to the Crypto Nightclub because I realized we haven't been here yet in the series and this is just a classic location and everyone apart from Allison was able to come. I guess Allison was a little bit too busy cleaning the sorority house to come here, but that's fine. We'll still have fun. So I want to get on having Angela introduce herself to some of the other fraternity members because apparently Castor was the only one that she was able to introduce herself to. So we'll just get on chatting up Kevin and Joshua. Good, we met someone new. I got so confused on whether it, whether or not Martin was in the, sor in the fraternity, but yeah, it was his brother here that is because... I think Joshua here is supposed to be, ooh, I should have made sure everyone got showers before he left, whoops. Uh, yeah, I think Joshua is supposed to be like the, the jock brother and we'll just have her wash her hands a bunch of times, that always works in a pinch. And Martin was supposed to be like the nerdy brother, but then Heather of course has a little bit of a thing for him, so I feel like it's like, Caster's like the typical crush she would have, you know? And then Martin's kind of like her guilty pleasure crush in a way. You know, like she likes him, but she feels kind of bad for liking him. Like everyone would judge her so much if they knew that she liked him. Which is actually kind of cute. Like I think it would be really sweet if they got together. But this group gathering is about to end. So we have got to do something. So can we, can we have her dance with Joshua here? Like will that liven up the spirits a little bit? Dance together. Yes, there we go. Um, Tiffany, how about we have you dance with Castor? Okay, yeah, look at that. We're getting a little bit of dancing going on. Oh, unfortunately, this is not the eventful gathering I wanted to have. Okay, stop talking to him and dance. And then we'll have Brittany go over here and dance with Kevin. Come on, we're almost at fun, please. Wait, did that, did you just... Oh no, she smells. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, just try to dance. There we go. Come on, dance together. We're almost there. Oh, this is not going well. How about we have Heather try dancing with him? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get this gathering past so far. So, so, unfortunately. Yeah, I probably should have should have had everyone in a bit better moods when we got here. But hopefully they at least stick around. Oh, wait. Wait, we did it. Yes. We got two more hours. Sweet. I was just set on the fact that this gathering is going to end at that point. I'm so glad it isn't. Uh, she is a little smelly. So we're going to have her just wash her hands a bunch of times. Because I don't... No, no, no. <laughs> Because apparently, that does, I mean, at least we still keep the two hours. But yeah, in a pinch, sometimes having them wash their hands a bunch of times can help. All right, so since these two are standing near each other, we're just going to have them chat a little bit. And I know she has a little bit of a crush on Caster, so maybe... Wait a... Hold it. Is that her and Heather? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. This is not going to help the... I mean, this is amusing, but this is not going to help the gather get better, right? Yeah, Heather is really pissed off at Brittany because Brittany flirted with Caster right in front of her. Oh. Yeah, of course, that would break out in a fight. <laughs> So everything is not so peaceful here in the sorority. Oh, I feel bad. Like everything, you know, they're all friends. Things are going good between the two of them. And then she had a flirt with Castor in front of her. And then now it's all ruined and they're fighting. 100, 100. Yeah, these two are, are pretty much enemies. Okay, oh look, it's Brandy Broke. Oh, we'll probably not have Angela talk to her because that may be kind of awkward, you know, because she kind of broke her son's heart. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, 
Oh, he's crushing on her. Oh, let's have her go up here and chat with him. Oh my god! <laughs> Heather! Come on! I mean, he didn't... <laughs> oh, now she has enemies with him. Oh, and he's thinking that Angela's hot stuff. That was weird. She just bolted over. Okay, let's have her... Should we... <laughs> Should we, why did, okay, she just had to do a beeline over there to dance. Now Caster is slapping her. Oh no! <laughs> a real drag! At least this gathering is interesting. And what is this slow dance with Semina? We could have her try slow dancing with Caster, although... Where's Tiffany? Tiffany's right there. Yeah, Tiffany's not gonna like it. These two are back to poking each other. Oh, this... This gathering's a mess. But at least it's interesting. And look at her, checking herself out in the mirror. Okay, so we're chatting. Can we... Let's just ask him to slow dance. I mean, that's what she wants to do. Or, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's try just flirting with him a little bit first. So we'll just charm him. I know I'm making, I'm making things worse, but it's so entertaining to do this. And where's Tiffany? Let's distract Tiffany with something else. Okay, she's eating. She has her back turned, so... Oh, no. This probably is not going to fun. Okay, Tiffany, you go over here and... Chat with Jake, with Joshua. Just kind of distract her from seeing. I'm going to just exit out of the chat here and get right to trying to charm him. And of course, she... Wait a minute. Hold on. They have something too? Wait. Oh, he has a crush on her. Man, that was an awful time. Keep us off your invite, your next invite. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for making things such a mess, but... Oh, it's so fun. Okay, how's Angela doing? She is at the bar getting a drink. Just kind of oblivious to all this drama going on over here. Oh, let's have her go over here and talk to Tiffany. Yeah, we'll see if we can maybe make her feel a little bit better. Okay, so we can chat. Let's give her a friendly hug to try to cheer up after all of that. It is getting really late though, and everyone is in a garbage mood. Everyone, apart from maybe Angela, had a garbage night. Yeah, I think Angela was the only one who didn't get into a fight or get slapped or anything like that. So we should probably end this after she gives Brittany that friendly hug. And I'm going to spend the rest of the part with Lilith's household. Let's see what's going on over there. Oh, she's so sad. Maybe a nice hug from Angela will cheer her up. Yeah, just let Angela hug you. Okay, I guess that hug's not happening, so we're just gonna get them all out of here and move on to Lilith. Lilith has her final exam in one hour, so she is rushing off to that. She should do really well. I had her spend a good chunk of the day writing her term paper, so her grades are as high as they can go. Dustin also has his final exam in five hours, so I'm trying to have him study Charisma so that he can unlock the next, you know, he can basically get his class performance higher. He's at, He at least has enough to pass the semester, but barely. So he is not doing as well this semester as he does as he has done in past semesters. So pretty sure his GPA is going to go down a bit because I don't think we're going to be able to get this full. Um, another problem I'm running into is that we don't have a way to learn the logic skill. Um, I don't think they have enough money to afford a chess table or a telescope. They also have bills. They don't have enough money to pay their bills. So I don't know if I want to spend yeah five fifty. We don't have enough money for that. I don't think we have enough money for, yes, we do not have enough money for a chess table either, so we're kind of stuck there, unfortunately. But Lilith should get a nice chunk of change when she gets back from her exam. So we can use that to pay off the bills and buy a telescope or something like that. So hopefully we can do that in time to at least, um, because he's got 16 hours until his final exam, so we should at least be able to get him his logic skill. I don't think we're going to be able to do it for Dustin, but as I said, at least he's going to pass. At least we're able to get him this charisma skill and have him do an assignment or something like that to boost his grade. All right, we got that. Let's just go here and have him do his assignment. Okay, you stop doing that. Just get a little bit of a boost. We have four hours left now, so hopefully enough time to get that done. And what? what hello? Excuse me. Uh, why are you just why, why are you just running around her house naked? Lil just got back from class, so she, of course, finished the semester with an A+, got a grant of 1,200 simoleons, and she is now into her junior junior year, so officially halfway through college. Remember that junior year is the last opportunity to change majors. I think we're good with a drama major. Lilith has gained enough life experience to change aspirations. Would you like to change Lilith's aspiration? 
Um, okay, so she has popularity as her main one, and then family as her secondary, I believe. I think I think we're gonna just keep it how it is. I like her aspirations the way they are. I don't think uh, our date was rocking. Let's have another. I hear downtown is a fun place to go. We're just gonna stay here because. I want to do some other things in this part. Moving pretentiously, a modern dance workshop, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, she's got stuck with a crappy class time. But what I would do when, oh, look, oh, she's over here rocking out. <laughs> she loves doing that. Okay, so creativity is the only other skill that we need to learn. I don't think we can learn that through the bookshelf. Like, I don't think you can learn creativity from reading a book. So we're also going to need to get easel or something like that. So we're just going to use that money of hers, pay off these bills, Buy some stuff that we need to boost skills. So let's grab a telescope. I do really like the telescope. And there's always the chance that they can get abducted by aliens, which is fun. Maybe we'll get to see that at some point in the series. So we've got you. Let's get a little something for that creativity. So we'll just grab an easel. Uh, that can go, I guess, do we have space upstairs for that? Eh, let's put it up here. I mean, that way they can, that way she can paint whether it's rainy or not. We'll stick it here. So that when she's using it, she doesn't block the doorway because that's always an issue that's annoying. So we are good to go there. Um, so something else I want to do in this part was have her go to the quad and work on just, just playing some soccer because sport is her one true hobby. And I did stick a soccer net out there. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just have her go there and kick the ball around, just... See who else is there. Have a nice, fun, relaxing evening. Hi, Nina. Since my friend Daniel had such a great time with you the other day, I thought I'd see if you wanted to go downtown. Why is, why is Nina trying so hard to talk to us? No. No. It's, I, I don't know if, like, Nina's really... I don't know if she's actually into Daniel. Because, like, things were a little weird when her and Daniel went out last time. But I don't know if she's really into him, so she's trying to get to know his daughters to get on his good side, or... I don't know what's going on there. That's just really odd. She does actually want to become friends with Nina, though, so that's... That's so weird. Maybe she does like Nina and thinks Nina is really cool. Interesting. Don't know what's going on there. I don't know if any of you have some interesting theories on that. Dustin's back from his final exam now, so he got a B, which is pretty good. He got a grant of 700 simoleons, which is fantastic. And we also have the thing here for him to change his aspiration, but he has fortune, which I think is a good one for him, so we are not going to bother with that. That is pretty cool, though, that it gives you that option to change their aspiration. So let's see what his new class is. Econometrics, graphs of plenty, that sounds boring and not at all exciting and we really need to work on some skills to bring this up so he needs to learn creativity and mechanical so we'll have him get started on studying mechanical and there's not anything else that's terribly exciting that's going to be going on here tonight so i am just okay you're not in the mood yeah i'm just going to be back the next day Dirk ended up having his final exam at 8 a.m and i kind of forgot about it so i forgot to get his grades up and everything so i tried having him last minute get a logic skill point because he needed that and didn't end up happening, so he did get a B this semester, so his GPA is now down to 3.7, but that's still pretty good, so it's fine. Looks like both him and Dustin have class in one hour, and Lilith is up and painting and just working on that. So she's actually already got the creati creativity skill point that she needed. So, as I said, I wanted to have her go to the quad and just kick the soccer ball around, so I think while these two are off in class, we're going to have her go ahead and do that. We're here, so let's get on over to that soccer net so we can play shootout with, play soccer, play with. It's kind of cool that they can play with some other people. I guess we can try that. We'll play with Dante. I don't know who on earth Dante is, but hopefully they're fun. She, she's Okay, so she's Monica. Who, who is Dante? Is that him? Oh, I think he's in the, yeah, I think he's in the secret society, although, okay, so I, I thought he was in there, and then someone was telling me that he's not because he lived in the dorm, and apparently secret society members aren't supposed to live in the dorm, so I don't know what's going on there. I think they were actually friends, or no, never mind, I think it was Angela that I had become friends with them, but I need to get back to trying to do the secret society thing for one of them, because it's definitely something really cool to try out. Okay, so we're going to get it. We're gonna get in the goal. <laughs> what was that? 
that Dante? He just put the completely... He, he's like dodging the ball, not blocking it. That's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. I mean, I know I should be critiquing his soccer skills because I am just not... Not good at soccer, but I mean... <laughs> taunting her. Are you gonna... Are you gonna duck? Oh! Nice! <laughs> she's, she's like, how dare you thwart me? He's getting it. All right, come on. Smack him in the face. Come on, do it. Is that it? Are we... Wait. Aww. Oh, we got some more people here. We got Allegra. Oh, I think someone was saying that Allegra could be someone good for her to become friends with because I think she was... She lives in the same household as Martin Rubin and she's kind of... I don't know if gothic is the word I would use. Kind of, kind of, kind of has the same vibe as Angela or Lilith. So I think she'd be awesome for her to get to know. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Yeah, look at her. I could definitely see these two becoming friends. Yeah, so perhaps after she plays us with her, we can have her chat. Because I feel like, like Angela's made new friends in college. And Lilith really has it. I mean, she's pretty content with what she has going on. But I do want her to actually meet some new friends here in college. Okay, come on. Get her. Really? Are we done? Okay, fine. We'll we'll greet her. We'll say hi to her. Introduce ourselves. Did that make her enthusiasm go up at all? Okay, cool. It did. Okay, so let's just chat with her. We can talk to her about a hobby. We'll talk to her about sports. We can play... Oh, let's toss football. Yeah, let's just have, just have a fun little sporty outing. Oh, I don't think she's into sports. That's unfortunate. Is there... Hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, is that a, like a living statue, like someone busking? Is that what this is? Human... It is. I was about to say, why does that statue have a tip jar? Okay, look at you. Oh, fancy. That is some incredible balance. Very cool. Okay, so these are still over here chatting. What are we... Oh, telling a joke. Okay, so I guess they didn't really end up tossing the football. But it looks like they're getting along a little bit better now. Let's hang out with her. Oh, it's so nice to be able to just see her making friends. Oh, look at that. We got a little gathering over here. We got some other secret society members. And she has class in one hour. While Lilith is off at class, these two are just here at the house hanging out, having a chill evening. So they are currently in Dustin's bedroom playing Red Hands. So I'll just let them do this a bit longer, and I'll probably be wrapping this part up pretty shortly. But let's also have them play Punch You, Punch Me. That's always a fun game. Uh, he also wants to play video games, so I was thinking that it could be nice to have the two of them go down here and play video games together. Um, so I'll have them do that, and then we can have Dirt come down and join them, but they're just still up here doing that, just trying to see how, how hard they could punch each other. I mean, don't hit him with that ring. That could hurt a bit. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this part up now because there just isn't really a whole lot going on here. But I am really excited for the next part because for the next part, I will have a speed build up of Mary Sue and Makoto's new home. I'm really excited to share what I've been doing with that with you all. So that video will be up next. And then after that, we will have a part with Mary Sue and Makoto. And a little bit is back, back from class. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.